So in this video, we are going to try to find out rules to find area of a square. Let's start with a square first. So now here we have a square and the size of the square is 4 cm. The length of the side is 4 cm and we have superimposed the square on an imaginary grid of 1 cm by 1 cm squares. Okay, and we are supposed to find out the area of this. So let us just do by the just the basic method. We just count the number of squares. So I'm just writing the squares as we see here. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So I can say that area of square whose width length four centimeter okay is equal to of length four centimeter okay the area is equal to sixteen square units now do we see a relation between the area and the side the length of the side do we see a relation here now what happens if I say let us say that divide the area which is 16 by the side what I am getting is 4 this is nothing but the side now you can do this for a square of any size it could be 4 centimeter 5 centimeter uh, you know it could be a square whose size is of maybe a thousand meter you just find out this area and then you divide it by its side so you will always get the length of the side in other words can I say okay can I so what happens if I multiply it so this 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 thing right 16 by 4 equals 4 if I multiply it by 4 on both the sides okay what happens is that this gets cancelled out and it shows that 4 cross 4 is 16 now it, it's an obvious thing but when I relate this to area the 16 is the area does this not give me the side the length of the side both of these therefore we can say that the area of a square square equals length multiplied by its length this is how we can define the area of a square that is the length of one side multiplied by the length of itself so that is how we can find out the area of a square if we just know the side or the the, the length of the side now let us take an example of an area of a rectangle now rectangle is a special case in which two sides are longer okay so we can similarly find out our uh, area by counting so we have one two three four and five we are just counting the squares six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen okay so the area of rectangle this rectangle whose sides or I can say that the L is five centimeter and uh, I will use the variable W to denote 3 cm. The width is 3 cm and the area A or the area equals 15 square units. Now let us just try to find out if there any relation exists between the area and these two. Okay, so let us do one thing. I will just try to divide this area by width. I am just taking it, just taking width. You can take the length as well and we will actually do that. So what happens when I divide area which is 15 by the width W which is 15 by 3. We know that we will get 5 cm. Now that is a bit surprising because what we have got here is length. Now does this apply the other way around also that is if we divide the area by length which is 5 so we get 3 centimeter which is the width 
so does this tell me that when I have a rectangle what I can do is I can just multiply the two the le multiply the length of the sides to come at the area this is what we have done so just to summarize the area of rectangle equals length into width or some people also call it as length into breadth it just depends on the whatever you want